Gary here, Mr. G Shave. I um, think this is head shave number 23. If I'm incorrect, I'll probably put it up there somewhere. <coughs> Today's shave, uh, software wise, I'm going with a fairly, well, a citrus theme to be honest. I'm going with Glyce um, pre shave soap bar. I'm going with um, Goodfellow Smile Lemon and Mint. So that gives you an idea. If you want to know the ingredients, I'll put them on screen now. Hopefully, that's if you pause it, you can have a look at the ingredients. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to follow that up with um, Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel um, sort of tonic, face tonic. And then that will be followed by Goodfellas Smile Lemon and Mint um, Aftershave. Now in terms of the ingredients to that, <clears throat> it comes in, a, in this box, um, which is just a, an open box like that. The ingredients, it just says alcohol, denat, agua, parf, parfum, or parfum, and menthol. 100% made in Italy. It says the lemon mint aftershave perfume by Goodfellow Smile combines the most classic properties of aftershave with the typ typical persistence of eau de parfum. This, thanks to its high concentrated handcraft, sorry, hand, high concentration of fragrance and the typical alcohol content so good stuff good stuff um, it's normally when I've, I've actually shaken this up um, it's actually when you take it out of the box it's clear and then you shake it and it goes really cloudy um, so <clears throat> so there we go so that's the aftershave and then I'm going to follow that up with Nivea men um, so that's what I'm doing. In terms of hardware, I'm using the Yaki brush and I'll put the name of the actual knot up. Um, Maya told me what the knot was on this and I've forgotten. It's gone, I, I, and when you consider I looked this up just before starting this video, I got a brain like a sieve. Um, so I'll put the knot name up there. Um, it's quite a dense knot. It's a 30 millimeter knot and it's just white handle. Uh, I don't think the handle's actually got a name. Um, and I'm following that up with the leaf razor with the shaver boy blades in on their third use. Uh, and I usually only use razor blades three times and then I just dispose of them. I know you can use some blades longer, but they're so cheap it doesn't matter. Right. Um, I have got a few new products, there's a couple of products on their way um, and I've had some new products mainly from a subscription company that I have a three monthly subscription with which is the Barber, is it the Barber Club or something like that, Barber Shop, um, I can't remember the name of it you know, uh, but I've had a few bits and pieces, I'll put the name of it up here. Um, it's okay, it, it, I mean I got involved in the subscription a couple of years ago and I, it was just to get some fresh products in the den that weren't big tubs of soap and so it just sends you loads of different products and I think it costs about 25 quid every three months. Uh, you can take a monthly subscription though so you know it's up to you which way you want to do it. Um, really, I, I mean the best way to um, choose soaps and things like that is, is probably to watch these videos you don't have to take out a subscription but it's up to you I did it just because it would gives you blades it gives you little bits like allen blocks and I think this time a shaving towel came with it um, things like that there's some nice little bits in it that make it worth the 25 quid I think it I think it is good value but the actual soaps you get they're only small sort of little I think I've shown you the, the size of soaps that you get. You've seen, seen one of these come on camera before. And when you consider that that is a standard tub and that is the tub 
that you get with the barber shop um, or the barber club. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it just gives you samples to try, and once you get a feel for what you like, then you don't you can cancel your subscription and 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 go off and buy your own soaps. So right, I'm going to get myself ready for the shave, and um, I'll be right back. Hi, back again. Right. Um, unusually, I'm actually going with a a puck for a head shave, um, but I just felt like a change. So I'm squeezing out the brush, shaking it off a few times, and I'm just going to go straight to the puck to load up the brush. So how's everybody been doing? They all been. Have you all been having a, a good week? Um, it's been okay here. I mean, it's it's certainly you can tell it's uh, cooling off. You know, if you went back a few weeks ago, we had some. We still had some summer temperatures. Um, so yeah, definitely cooling down now. Um, right, let's get this. Oh, I've put my. I've already put the um, pre-shave on my head, so I'm just going to lather up. Um, yeah, we haven't actually had any frosts here yet. Certainly in the Midlands, I think up in Scotland, that's a different story. They probably have had frosts. I think they've gone down to freezing of well, certainly close to freezing point. I mean, three, four degrees centigrade, so whatever that is in Fahrenheit. Um, I'll put up on the screen. Um, so yeah, we're we're definitely, and the trees are beginning to change colour. So yeah, I, I I like autumn or fall as you call it in the US. Um, it's very photogenic, you know, lots of different colours different shades of gold and orange or amber and browns. I love it. Great time. And it's good if you're a, an early bird photographer going out to catch the gold now, it's, you, you can get up later because uh, sun rises at a more reasonable time. Um, so yeah. Definitely uh, autumn or fall and winter and spring um, definitely has its, has its advantages. So right, going with the grain. I'm going to be careful on the third use these shaver boys don't um, feel as smooth as they were in the first two uses they feel like they're gripping a little bit now but hey ho keep going So yeah, I hope everybody's had a good week. Um, and those down under in Australia or south of the equator, they're going into summer now. So um, yeah, they've got the warm weather to look forward to. But yeah, no, I do enjoy the seasons. I mean, I, I uh, I have lived in other countries. I lived in Germany for seven years, um, in Munich, um, and uh, I don't know what it was about Munich. I mean, I know it's high. It's a high altitude city. I think it's over a thousand meters or three thousand feet. I'm not sure. I've got to check it, and I'll check. But I, I know it's high up, and I have to say that. They didn't seem to have an autumn there, it, you know, it just suddenly went from nice warm weather to 
freezing cold and snow. And I remember the temperatures got down to minus 15. Wow, that was, that was cold. But it was a dry cold, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the people who've experienced the dry cold will understand what I'm saying. You can put on a nice warm duck down coat or whatever, a nice fancy coat that'll warm you up and wear a t-shirt underneath and it'll be minus 15 in, in Munich and not a problem, no problem. Do the same in the UK because the cold is damp, it gets in. You could never wear one of those coats in this country and, and, and just a t-shirt underneath. I, I wasn't able to anyway. I mean, and the temperatures here don't get as low as minus 15. I don't think anywhere. I don't think even in Scotland you'll get minus 15, although maybe, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, those were interesting times. Right, I haven't put water in my spray. There we go, just put some water in. So yeah, it was, a, it was a different cold, different experience. The UK has like a damp cold. Um, whereas, you know, mainland Europe, I think you've got a, a dry cold, which is easier to bear, I think. But anyway, second pass. And I only do two passes on my head as those that are subscribers or watch my videos regularly will know I only do two passes on my head and then I do a, a pickup pass. Um, but yeah, I see uh, in the US things are hotting up for a debate. Um, yeah. Mr. Trump is out of hospital and apparently he's now COVID clear. Interesting. I mean, as far as I was aware, you, you, you can't be diagnosed one week and within a few days be clear of the virus. I just don't see how that's possible, but you know, that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, but each to their own. I mean, as long as he doesn't put anybody else at risk, you know, because that is not what he should be doing for the, for the sake of a political career. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to go into politics too much. I don't, you know, I don't really get don't really do politics. Um, but when you've got characters as big as Boris Johnson and, and uh, President Trump, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. Interesting characters. This is a nice shave. The soap is behaving well, although I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of a drying sensation from the soap. My, f my skin really feels quite, yeah, interesting. Um, maybe it's because I'm just nattering too much and it's actually drying out. But I am being careful. Um, my original statement about this being not as smooth as uh, as it was. I'll take that back, it's actually all right now. It's just the first few strokes. Just gotta be careful around behind the ears, as you know. If you are new to my channel, just go back a few videos, you'll find the ones where I cut myself because I put it in big capital letters, blood warning. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing, it, you know, it encourages me to make more videos. I do enjoy shaving, 
been doing it for six, seven years. Six or seven years now. Right, pick up pass. So I only go around the sides because there was nothing up top anyway. <clears throat> this brush, lovely. I like this brush. Um, it's a nice size. I, don't get me wrong, that that um, Razor Rock 34mm brush is stunning. Really stunning. Um, is it my favourite brush so far? I've used it a few times now. On and off camera. Um, if, if I had to pick one, I'd have to say that the Yaki Bear or Beetlejuice at the moment is still my favourite. Um, for head shaving, but I'm, I'm giving these a go because I've used the Yaki Bear for a long time, whereas these have only been used three or four times each. Well, this I think it's actually only its third use. So, so I give it time, but I do like the, the uh, Yaki Bear brush or Beetlejuice. Right, here we go. Pick up pass. Being very careful, as I said before. Don't know whether you can hear that. But there is still feedback there. Here we are, almost done. So th the soap performs really well. It just seems, and it, I don't know why I haven't noticed it before, but your head dries off really quickly. And this, it, it, the head of this, of the leaf razor, seems to grip onto your skin. And, and um, you know, makes it more likely to get a cut. But even so, um, let's feel around, let's, yeah, that's BBS as far as I'm concerned. There's a little bit there. That's it. So BBS. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up and, uh, I can't continue the show then. Right, all cleaned up. On with the cold rinse. Cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. Nice and bracing. No sting at all. Nothing at all. At the moment, oh, I'm maybe there, just there. Maybe I got a bit close. <laughs> yeah, this medication is still uh, playing havoc with me. Um, it uh, just drains you. Um, and I know that, you know, <clears throat> signs of being tired, I've lost the word for it now, lethargy, um, 
lack of motivation, whatever. I think that is now being seen as one of the signs of COVID, but I can assure you I haven't been anywhere to get COVID, so, but um, yeah, um, it, it, it is a side effect of the medication. I've read it in the, uh, oh God, I'll wipe my eye with that um, alum on it, so not, not brilliant. Right, I'm gonna wash this off. You really don't want to get it in your eyes. I've got now got it in both eyes. I mean, I don't know whether you can see, but oh. <sighs> yeah, really try and avoid doing that. Don't touch your face, again, right? Um, right. Let's go with the uh, Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Give that a splash. That's got a bit more of a burn than the alum. Oh. And then I'm going on with the Goodfellas Smile Lemon Mint Aftershave. So I'm just splashing that on. Very zesty, very lemony, citrusy scent. Really nice. Probably another one not to get in the eyes, but the I, I've got to say that alum burns like hell. It doesn't burn for long, but it does burn. Right, and then on with the Nivea Men. That's probably too much. So it's only about that much. Um, get that on. Get it out of the eyebrows. And that's me done, really. Um, I will be back tomorrow to do my face shave. I will probably introduce some new products from from a club that I subscribe to. I'll go into it in a bit more detail tomorrow, but I, I, I get a parcel from them every three months. You can choose to get monthly parcels, but I chose three monthly parcels. Um, so, um, so I'll show you some of those products tomorrow. I am waiting for a, another razor that I shouldn't have gone for but i have gone for um but you'll see why when i get it it's something completely different to uh, anything that i've got in the den so um you know i don't know whether that'll arrive by tomorrow though not sure it should do but i can't guarantee it but until then i will see you tomorrow bye bye for now